Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Tariff news against China last night. Uh, by the looks of the fills we got, it was around 11.30 p.m. Swiss time, so 5.30 New York time. Equities got smashed uh, down to 27.65 after closing up at 96 quick 30 handles looks like you can be short below 87 now this was an interesting break trade in the Asian session 27 87 looks like uh, should be resistance today London's going to come in in about 30 minutes um, they're going to be risk off dollar again bounced a little bit and we're in one of these interesting situations where we have this uh, double top up here at 40 um, which ironically now is a good place to enter longs we talked about this kind of tongue-in-cheek yesterday but there will be stops above 111.40 now for sure uh, any of the uh, Asian session guys and people who are on this on the risk-off side are short dollar yen um, I like being short dollar yen, and of course the cut point is 40 for me as well. Um, if you don't like being short dollar yen, you just want to be patient. Looks like you're going to get some uh, some free pips there through 111.40. That said, uh, what's more interesting to us is sort of confirmation of risk off, and then trying to get short dollar yen through 111.80. We don't necessarily like the risk reward here at 111.06, so we're just going to wait. It's a nice pivot here. Uh, we printed a low of 77 today, so a confirming low with confirming conditions is interesting to us. So, what does that mean? That means equities getting smashed, um, bonds higher, rates lower. You can sell some dollar yen through 80. Uh, if you're really buying into this, you could kind of sell dollar yen 06, 16, 26 with a 40 stop. Um, but you're a little bit late to the game now, right? I mean, this happened eight hours ago. This has had time to marinate a bit. Um, so be careful. Uh, we're going to wait for, for 110.80. We had to cut our Euro shorts yesterday uh, back up through 30, so we're square there. Aussie and Kiwi look to be sells on rallies, so you can you can either sell ES, uh, which what, this is what we have done, we're short ES, or you can sell Aussie Yen, Aussie Dollar, or Kiwi. It's kind of all the same trade there, so you pick your poison. I want to show this Euro Swiss chart. I know Euro Swiss is very difficult to trade, but very, very interesting number of highs now at 116.60. Obviously, if it's risk off, it's gonna, you're going to have a hard time buying Euro Swiss and, and having a move higher. But everyone needs to start keeping this level in mind because when dollar Swiss eventually breaks 99.90 and one double O, and then there's a little flurry of buying of dollar Swiss, um, this Euro Swiss level is going to come into play. I don't think it comes into play today, but I'm just mentioning it so we can all start thinking about it and what we're going to do when we see it. Finally, cable. Uh, not doing much. Really, really hard for me to see cable going higher. Uh, UK is a mess. Um, I don't pretend to understand the seriousness of Boris. Obviously, the people, the liberals in the world, are happy to see him go. The conservatives want him to mount some sort of charge against May. Either way, it looks like the UK, the state, is weakened. The decision-making is 
not consensus, uh, looks confused. I like cable lower, but again, we want to wait for confirmation. There'll be plenty of pips to earn. Real confirmation comes below 131.90. So, I don't mind core short cable, but I think once we get below 131.90, we're going to see 130 quite quickly. So we're going to wait for confirmation. Sterling Yen, obviously, now with this risk off. Looks like a pretty good sale as well. And you have this horizontal here, 146.82. Anyway, I'll leave you guys with that. Crypto is doing nothing, 63.26. Should be a risk off day. Uh, should be risk off the rest of the week. Usually that means dollar higher these days. Um, and then cross yen lower. Good luck out there, people. I will see.